Good morning, everyone. Look at the screaming. We got a serial burglar. I'm calling him Dusty Dan. Dusty Dan obviously does not want to work. He just steals. Thieving, thieving, lazy, dusty Dan. This makes no sense. He can get a job. If you can use those hands to steal, guess what? You can use those hands to do something productive, to work. So he's lazy, a typical, typical dusting. Once again, I'm wondering what are the tax dollars paying for? What are the tax dollars paying for? They keep on committing the crimes. The judges are letting them out. Someone's telling me, hey, it's a Black Lives Matter issue about, um, with, you know, about criminals being released out in time. Yo, if that's the case, I know they got Marxism going on. They got the train going in the wrong direction. You're worried about overcrowding, of people being incarcerated. I'm worried about the people that's committing the crimes in the nation. So look, look at this fit picture, especially if you are in H-Town, love ya, uh, Missouri City, Friendswood. Yo, Dusty Dan is free to burglarize again. Yeah, he's free to burglarize again. He's been granted bond 14 times. Hmm, interesting, huh? 14 times. How, who posted on a bond? A mammy? Or it occurred to me, he might be posting a bond after he steals from people, steal your things, go sell it, and then when he gets caught, he's using those same proceeds to post bond. That's a possibility. And I'm willing to bet it's a low bond. I really think they're more concerned about getting the money. They pretty much want the money. That's what I'm starting to think. What are the tax dollars paying for? Where's the safety for the community? It's not there. So check this out. Again, get a good photo. So if you see this guy walking in your neighborhood, you need to know already what's up. He's not there for a nice walk among the trees. No, he's there because he's a certified thief. Check it. Fair use convicted felon who police describe as a serial burglar is a free man tonight thanks to a criminal district court judge who has granted him a total of 14 bonds 14 times he's given him bond as this man awaits trial hey caitlin that same judge Crazy. also granted multiple bonds to another repeat offender charged in a string of armed robberies box 26 is randy wallace joining us live downtown tonight with the latest in his series breaking bond I finally heard from 230th Criminal District Court Judge Chris Wharton. He called to tell me he will never talk to me because he only talks to true journalists. I guess 31 years as a TV reporter doesn't count. Now let's count the times Judge Chris Morton has freed repeat offenders wow. so they can commit more crimes. He's a one-man crime wave. 38-year-old convicted felon Jeffrey Robertson just keep showing up over and over again in the 230th criminal district court pre-trial the judge is chris morton he's seen here in this youtube video every time robertson gets a new charge like burglary judge chris morton frees him from jail by granting him bond so far robertson has racked up 14 bonds seven bonds were posted this month i was a business manager and uh, i came across break-ins at the uh, at the business that i managed as you can imagine garland smith questions why judge morton mm. keeps granting bonds for robertson mm. and it was crazy to us that whenever he would go down the route of getting busted and charged with crimes it wouldn't be long before he was back in our facilities doing the exact same thing again mm. based on his track record it's a matter of days before he breaks into some other building or business and gets charged again in a breaking bond report last March, we told you how Judge Chris Morton granted bond for 19-year-old Jose Perez 11 times. Police mm. call the teen a serial armed robber. We have now got members of the judiciary that are absolutely not caring about victims, aren't caring about speedy trials, aren't caring about justice, and I'm not sure what they're caring about because what they're doing is they're getting people killed. As for Robertson, the DA's office filed this motion asking Judge Chris Morton to revoke Robertson's bond. It states, Robertson is a true habitual offender. At this time, he has 10 pending charges. He's got prior felony convictions. Based on the risk to community safety, I find by clear and convincing evidence that no bond or conditions can safely assure the community he will not 
reoffend again. I just think it's really simple. The criminal justice system is there to protect the citizens, not to protect the criminals. Now, in addition to telling me I'm not a true journalist, Judge Chris Morton told me I had the facts all wrong. When I offered him a chance to explain that on camera, he hung up on me. Reporting live from downtown, Randy Wallace, Fox 26 News. To protect the citizens, not to protect the criminals. And as you can see, they're letting them out. They're protecting the criminal. And everybody's just left on, you know, on their own. I mean, at this point, just say, hey, it's, it's, you know, you're free to burglarize. It's not against the law. Why call the police? They're going to be out. What's going to happen, though, when someone, this guy, see, you have a pattern. They keep on doing this, and then when someone bucks it, he might escalate, have a weapon on it, then kill somebody. Who's going to be responsible then? I guarantee you, it won't be the judge. It will escalate. They used to get in the way stealing, and then somebody's like, no, I'm not giving you my thing. The little thief get mad. This crazy fool gets mad and shoot and kill somebody. Then what? Could have been prevented. So thanks to the judicial system, they're protecting the criminals and we're paying them. We're paying them to expose us to robbery, crime, could be death. That's what the textiles are paying for. Got a problem with it. Dusty, you have a lot of time to troll. How about you get off your butt and go uh, mobilize to protect your community? Can you do that? Wait a second, you can't because a lot of times you're the problem in the community. Okay, so moving on. I mean, you know, you does just have a lot of time. I can see that one thing they do have is time. They don't have resources, but they definitely have time. Somebody needs to check this dust. But that but this man right here, don't be surprised if he becomes a hashtag or he breaks into what I call this is the wrong house, the right house. You come across the right one and serve you up Texas style. Man, I wouldn't shed a tear. I'd be, okay, well, you bought that on yourself. You bought that on yourself. So Dusty Dan, guess what? He deserves it so much. He deserves a jingle. And here we go. <clears throat> Beware of the thieving white man. He's here to steal a gun. Beware of the thieving white man. He's here to steal again. I think he's Dusty Dan. Probably got stolen tools in his hand. He's granted bond again. He's a thief in the land. Beware the thieving white man. He's here to steal again. So call the cops. He won't get shot. If he breaks into your house, maybe he needs to hear a pop pop. Beware the thieving white man. He's here to steal again. Beware the thieving white man. He's here to steal again. Beware the thieving white man. His name is Dirty Dusty Dane. Y'all come back now. You hear? I'm out, folks. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Be safe. And if you're in H-Town, yo, you peeped it here. Dusty Dan, he's free again.